Hey everybody, man, it's Bunky here from Midwest Muscle Report. We've got the privilege of sitting down with Rachel Baker. Rachel, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good, good, yeah. good. Now, you, you turned pro four years ago. Correct. Okay. You qualified for the Olympia in your second year, correct? Um, then last year, you weren't here, and you're back here again this year. What does it yes. mean to you? Um, you know, it's, I, I've talked to people, and I tell them it's kind of like the Sally Fields. I'm dating myself when she did her speech, and she's like, they like me, they really like me. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like the way I feel. Like, the first time it was, it, 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 I may have been lucky, I entered some great shows, and, you know, and so this time it, it means a lot more to be here. Right. Because I feel like. Right. You know, to, to be able to, to hang on and stay. And, you know, I think that as women's physique has grown, the caliber of competitors has grown. Absolutely. The, the field of competition has grown. It's it's still, it's an even more accomplishment to, to be able right. to qualify and step on the stage again. Now, there, there are a lot of athletes in the last five or six years who have transitioned from division to division based on the divisions changing, based on what they're looking for, based on where they are at their life and their physique. Um, you're not one of the large yeah. women's physique competitors <laughs> no. by any I'm, stretch of the I'm imagination. I'm more compact and <laughs> right. petite. <laughs> so you're obviously still doing very well, but is that something that ever crosses your mind that at some point you might decide, hey, longevity wise, I can stick around for a lot longer, or I may be able to be at the Olympia year after year after year after year after year, if at some point I do decide to make a transition. Is that something that's ever crossed your mind? You mean transition into a, a different division? Figure. In yeah. a figure. Yeah. Um, I started in figure before women's physique right. came around, and I'm just, at, at 5'1", I'm more of an athletic build. I'm not a figure competitor. So, okay. you know, I think women's physique is is where I belong and can I remain competitive, you know, as as it moves on? We'll see. Um, You're but I, here. But I, I, exactly. You're here. Exactly. But I, I, I don't know how competitive I could be, you know, with the shape that they want in figure because right. it's just, you know. Okay. I don't okay. think it's where I fit. Okay, but. so you found a home, and obviously it's a home that fits now that you're here two out of the last three years, and we know that, that things are going well. Um, what are you expecting from this weekend? Um, just a, a wonderful experience. Um, and it's, it, I'm, I'm just really looking for the experience of looking to step on stage with a, a group of, of wonderful um, women with phenomenal physiques. The, the women's physique division, we're really close, yes. and so yes. it's almost like going to camp. And I look forward to to seeing the women and catching up almost as much as I do stepping on stage and competing. That's funny. So That's very it's just common to being here and being division. able to, to share that experience with with friends and family and um, my fellow competitors just really means a lot to me. Good, yeah, good. Well, I'm glad we got a chance to catch up with Absolutely. you. We look Thank forward you. to see what you, the package you bring to the stage, and we hope to catch up with you after the show as well. Wonderful. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rachel. Amanda Spuckle from Midwest Muscle Report. Until next time, we're out.